Yo, what's going on, 67 of the squad? Oh, wait, I want the, I want the other skin. Wait, 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 wait. I want to be a noodle. Where's the noodle? It's noodle and time. Got it. Um, I want to see if I can one-hit someone this game. So I'm going to play Kukulkin. I'm going to go Warlock Staff. I'm going to go Book of Thoth. I'm going to go Rod. I'm going to go... I mean, maybe Soul Reaver. It might help a little bit. I doubt it. He's Baka, so it won't help that much. But you never know. Maybe it will. Um... I guess I also could go tablet because technically, technically speaking, tablet, not only is it a stacking item, but it's based off your max mana. And if I'm double stacking, I'm getting a lot of mana. Hmm. Hmm. What do we think here, boys? What's the best build to one-shot someone? Like, legitimately one-shot them. Minions have spawned. I actually don't know the answer to that. Hey, you're not going to steal my red buff, are you? Like, we can be homies and brothers. Just hang out and, like, kiss or something. Oh, he actually did it. That's actually so kind of him. Rod, Reaver, Mirrodin, Tablet. I don't think Reaver's the play. Does Reaver have pen on it now? Reaver has pen and smite too. It doesn't have pen and smite one. Okay. Did you get your blue or mine? You got yours. Warlock, Book, Rod, Shard, Soul Gem. Rod, Obsidian Shard, Soul Gem. But Mirrodin damage works on your own ultimate as Cuckoo because it goes on cooldown before the damage is applied. Your ult goes on cooldown once you use it before the actual damage like hits an enemy. So I think 100% Mirrodin is in the build. 100%. It's on cast, right? It's so Mirrodin. Mirrodin is. I mean, unless they changed it, I haven't played like consistently in a while. But we slow him, we alt him. Thank you so much. Got two of them. He ate the third one. Where are you going, buddy? Warlock, book, rod, shard, soul gem. And mirrored in. But what order? I feel like you go Warlock. I don't know. Tablet. I feel like Tablet could go crazy though. How much mana am I going to have? Actually, I... I can I not? There we go. Is one top of one proc of tablet doing more for you than soul gem? I mean, it'll be like with how much mana the build has, it'll be like at least if it's fully stacked, at least it'll be like 170 probably. Soul gem probably does somewhere around the same, I'd imagine. I don't know. I think it could definitely work, actually. I'm not scared of it. I have very little to be afraid of right now. I'm scared! I'm scared! My Whirlpool! Ah! Okay, wait. I have very little to be afraid of again. Watch this. Wait, I wanted to... I wanted to send it the other way. What do you have? Wait, hold on. What's this? Buddy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Eat one of them. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
I killed myself. Oh! Wait, wait, not going that way. Wait, did I actually clear? Oh, I actually cleared. Okay. We'll do this. Now, here's the big question. Everyone's thinking it. And I think this is the answer. I think we go soul gem next item. If we're going to go soul gem, we might as well do it somewhat early. So we have a little bit of sustain. Should have been warlocks first. I know. Okay. So here's my, here's my thought process between upgrading, upgrading book over warlocks is warlocks loses like tier two warlocks has so much value early game and so little value late game whereas book i whether it if even if it's tier two i can get stacks on it faster at tier three and because tier two warlocks has so much value giving me 15 percent hp and mana every time i level up i assume that 15 percent every level is going to add more value than like like not very many stacks on the book especially if he's just going to do this right like if he's just trading with me which he has been all game he's just trading damage with me then i can stack just by like punching him in the head a, a few times nothing over there you run i sneeze it hits but doesn't do damage apparently That time it did do damage. Drop that down. I picked up a rock. Okay. Dude, the uh the frostbound into shoguns is what everyone's doing apparently. That's just that's just the play that people are doing these days. Man, he is so tanky. He is so tanky. I guess I could go this and this. My ult only hit him for 330 damage. That's not great. So, I guess we go... Hmm. I just want to keep doing damage to him. Like, that cannot be smart to take that trade there. That cannot be smart at all. Red buff is spawning, blue buff is spawning. I guess it doesn't matter, right? Well, okay, my ult does no damage to him, so fuck it, let's ult the buff. And then let's go see if we can rip his blue. My life sucks, his blue hasn't spawned yet. Okay, let's just go do my blue. How much is Soul Gem? 1750. Alright, even though we're one to one, I'm still up in XP. And I'm I'm not like a lot of gold up per se, but I'm gold up, which is all that matters. He is Equinox. Equinox, there's no way that's a good item for him. There's no way that's a good item. So Mirrodin could be next because 10% pen and 10% cooldown while giving me the alt damage. But Obshard might just be better for my next item. It could just be better. There's no way you're doing 
There's no way you're doing fire. What is this, buddy? Oh my. That that hurt him. That one hurt him a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. Nice try, pump the boo. Is your blue up? No, not. Dang it. All right, let's go. I kind of just want to go Mirrodin, to be honest. It's time to get lit. Do you get any side effects from the hurricane? Uh, I lost power for about 12 hours, but other than that, I've not gotten a lot of side effects. I know, like, it's it's it wasn't supposed to be that hard in Georgia, I don't think. But people, like, they lost their homes. People died. People... You know, people still don't have power right now. In fact, someone on my team in Smite 2 won't have power until he said Friday. So. Am I just dead here? I missed. Oh, shit. No! Okay. I didn't think he had ult up that quick. Actually, how did he have ult? Because I ulted when he ulted last time, and my ult just came up now. I guess my ult's probably on, just on a longer cooldown in general, huh? How long is my ult? 80 seconds? He's got no cooldown, and his ult came up faster? Interesting. Um, are you ripping fire? You're not. He could though. He's also going hasten. Oh, he's ripping fire now though. Okay, he's not. I saw. I saw like an auto attack animation over there. I assumed it was him doing fire, but I guess not. Baka ult is 60 or 70 seconds. Wow. I actually didn't know that. It's pretty low. All right, so I'll gain 10% pen from Warlocks as well, by the way. So I will be at a max 40% pen once I get off shard. That hastened is annoying. Double defense, Ace and Frostbound. That was good timing. All right. I do not feel bad here. In fact, I'd argue that I feel pretty good. Alright, you're dead. You're dead. Nice try, buddy. A nice sprint, by the way. Nice sprint, by the way. My ult hit him for 900 damage. That's that Mirrodin juice for you right there. And now I can... I wish that I could take his tower before doing this. But I'm just getting this off the table. I'm just getting it off the table so he can't do it. Sometimes, even if you don't think you can utilize something to its fullest potential it's better to just just take it off the table so you make sure they can't get it you know 
you see it done with buffs all the time, but Bull Demon is just a big buff if you think about it. All right, he's going to get red buff. Mm. I don't know if I care that much about him getting red. I mean, okay. I am dead. You're dead too, though. You're not dead, though. How much did my ult hit for? 1,500. Dude, to the ocean for a while. he's able to follow me so crazy. Like, like insanely easy. Just because of the Frostbound Hasten. If I don't have my two up, I'm just dead. That's decent damage. It's decent damage. Not the best damage ever, but... I'm actually not scared of him, I don't think, right now. Maybe I should be. Oh, God. I got a little scared, I'm not going to lie. I got a little scared, I'm not going to lie. That was definitely a panic shell. One hundred percent a panic show. All right, we're gonna get this Phoenix down, and all this is gonna do for me, all this is gonna do for me is alleviate pressure. Bakasura cannot clear fire minions well, not at all. Need red to one shot. Red buff is down right now. Oh, what's my last item? Oh, just rod, obviously. Just rod, obviously. How much health do you have? 2,500. I think Reaver actually might do more than Soul Gem. I am very scared of a fight, though. I do want this red buff when it spawns. There he is. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Okay, that was really good. Give me that red. one hit him that actually almost one hit him holy crap dude soul gem plus my ult hit him for fucking 1600 damage 1600 holy crap that was sick all right i can make this a little bit better by the way by getting a 3k pot and a 500 pot. So I just got to farm for those. I mean, I guess I might as well get a 500 pot now. And I could go perfected rod. That'll increase my move speed, which might get me out of a sticky situation. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so much damage. I right, know I need to be with my minion wave here to get this this fire. Obviously, he just did fire giant. I don't really care about his fire giant. 
I care about getting his Phoenix down. Look at all my damage. Goodness. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Eat those minions? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Stop me? With what health? With what health are you going to stop me with? And you're dead. I missed! I'm dead! Damn it! I missed my alt. Oh my god! My Zephyr did 2200 damage to him. I mean, I it, it hit him three times, but 2200 is no joke. Holy crap. I do lose my Phoenix here, I think. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Because he might just backdoor me. Which means I don't think that we can get... Actually, do I? No. I do. Look at that damage. Fine. soul gem did because of the bug but my alt by itself hit it for 1633 i have a thousand and seventy power with max percent pen holy shit. that was crazy he just got evaporated I do so much damage. My tor my tornado, my tornado did twenty four hundred damage to Titan just now. My tornado did. Oh my god! Go back. <laughs> that was a thousand damage. Hello. Bop. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Your team has destroyed a middle oh my god. That is criminal. Alright, let's see how much damage it does in Fountain. With the 3k pot up. Wait, he lives, right? I missed. I missed. Damn it. I ulted like a quarter of a second too early. I ulted like a quarter of a second too early. But I did one hit him. I one hit him and then after I one hit him, I picked up red buff and a 3k pot. I would, I would do so much damage with that ult. Okay, like, just think about, think about the percentages, right? Like, how much does red buff give you? This gives you 25% more magical power. 25% more magical power. I think red gives you 10%. So I gained 35% more magical power plus 10% pen. Oh man. I mean, just by those numbers, my alt hits him for 2,500 there.
Yeah, my alt hits him for 2,500 just by those percentages. 35% increase of 1,650. Somewhere around there. I mean, it, it could be... No, it's about 2,200, 2,250. I mean, 2,250 is crazy, though. Anyways. Oh, plus Soul Gem. Soul Gem was hitting for 250. You're right. Yeah, I could, I, I could one-hit him. I could have one-hit him. Damn it. If only I hit that alt at the end. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.